It wasn't supposed to be like this. Volo finally got his way. He erased everything. So Arceus sent us back to rewrite the story. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That, that was way too intense. I mean, look at this idiot. He's collecting Bidu for the cause. He's trying to take over the world. You know, I actually think that's a bit more concerning. What am I, what are, what are we doing? What am I doing in my life? Anyways, it's been a while since we've said this. Are you ready? Meet Mac and Cheese. One of my one and only shiny alpha Pokemon. And today, well, we're going on a bit of an adventure. And it's kind of a big one. Let's just, let's just start from the beginning. You see, Mac and Cheese and I were wrangling some ghosties over there in the timeless woods. And then something dawned on us. Now we were bored. Now folks around these parts like to call it no shiny sparkle sound. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. At least like the video before you leave. Anyways, back to the point. We were sitting there thinking to ourselves, well, what if we went home? And then it's almost as though it was written into the story, but Arceus decides to give us a phone call. And he's like, hey, I need your help. And then proceeded to tell me that my Pokemon were gone. Now, as you can imagine, I had a lot of questions, but Giratina and Volo had attempted to defeat Arceus while we were gone, and he won. Now, I asked Arceus why he couldn't just send us back in the story to before we had left, but Volo had erased it. So there was no story to go back to. And with the strength that Arceus had left, it explained that in order for us to rewrite the story, we had to follow a specific set of rules. The first rule is that there are five areas of history. And in order to progress in the story, I had to find a shiny alpha Pokemon per area, which <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot in and of itself. The second rule is that the village is no longer accustomed to Pokemon as they were. So for every villager NPC catch quest, there must be a shiny alpha Pokemon that accompanies them if they take an alpha. And lastly, because Arceus only had enough strength to send Mac and I back, the shiny alpha Pokemon we find are unlocks, meaning every Shalfa we find unlocks a member of my original team. But this is where you come in. You see, at the end of each episode, there will be a choice of three Pokemon, and you will have the option of voting for one of these Pokemon to come back and help us in our adventures. Which is how we ended up with this guy right here. Yep, his name's Pet Bird. Everybody welcome Pet Bird. So I guess that leaves me with a really big question, and that is... <sighs> How the heck am I going to do this? Because you see, I don't have the shiny charm and Mac and Cheese won't even obey me because I'm not research level seven. Mac, I, Mac and, are you good? <laughs> you see, I've got a level 10 bird and a bozo of a refrigerator. Now, the only thing that can make this easier is the Pokedex. You see, in these games, the Pokedex actually benefits you outside of getting a shiny charm once you catch them all, which let's be honest, <laughs> I, I'm not that excited about it anymore. But this game brought the grind to the next stage by providing each Pokemon with a research level. And depending on what research level you're on, it raises the shiny odds for that specific Pokemon. The base rate is one out of 4096. Research level 10 is about one out of 2048. And a perfected dex entry is about one out of 1024-ish. So all I had to do was set up a route for my alpha targets, perfect those, and run that route over and over again until I found the shiny. Oh, excuse me, is that? I just heard a shiny. Oh no, it's a Baneary. My first shiny in this game is a Baneary and it's full odds. That's not cool. That's so uncool. Oh no. What a terrible thing to happen to me. Now I decided that I was going to perfect Wurmple, Buizel, Geodude, Scyther, Golbat, and Rapidash. Scyther, Golbat, and Rapidash were alphas for my route, and then Wurmple, Buizel, and Geodude because I also had to worry about the villagers. But I made a fatal miscalculation, which we'll talk about that later. And because I got lazy when I was perfecting, I brought Heracross, Lopany, and Parasect up to research level 10, but with all of that out of the way, this bozo was finally ready to find an alpha shiny Pokemon. It's almost like we're a rescue team, huh? <laughs> now, what the hell is that? That ain't no alpha. That's nobody's favorite Pokemon. Maybe I should not have perfected those those normie Pokemon. 
Because <laughs> I, I have a feeling this is how it's going to be. What's up, Gia, dude? <sighs> okay. No! Well, I just died. That is a Wurmple outbreak right there. Boys, the plan is simple. Oh, wait, there's a shiny, there's a shiny, there's a shiny, there's a shiny. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Let's go. The purple wormhole. That's so great. Gosh darn it. What a perfect Pokemon. This is perfection. Peak. And you. Oh, shiny, but it's not alpha. No. <laughs> That's fine. I'm like stoked on it anyways. Is that the last one? No. Dude, this shiny's so good. It's so good. What a goofy little otter. Hey, man. You know, I just got the bright idea to run a Pokemon ASMR channel where I just listen to Pokemon e berries. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, what an actual dad. Look at him. It's the dad that everybody deserves. <laughs> Wait. No, is that on top? Dude. It's on top, isn't it? No way. Wait, was that it? That's it. That's a shiny Machop right there. And I can't catch it. <laughs> no! Dude. Correction. Uh, look, there is a much easier way for me to do this if I just did it from the other side of the tunnel. However, I am dumb. I don't know if you guys put this together yet. So, um, yeah, just enjoy my struggle. Oh, no. God. <sighs> you know, I'm really going to have to, like... I don't think I can get up there. Oh? Oh? Oh, dude. Okay, maybe, 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 maybe I can do it. Maybe. No, no, no. Thank you. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Maybe. I don't think I'm going to make it. Oh, I made it. 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 Shiny Machop. Oh my gosh. Yo. That's so awesome. Let's freaking go, man. You know, Mac, what if we went live? You know that thing we do like every now and then? You know, everybody says your name and idolizes you and treats you like a god. <laughs> Just don't, don't get weird about it. You down? And that's exactly what we did. We went live on my Twitch channel and I found myself falling into that old shiny hunter saying, I can't believe I haven't found a shiny. I'm really surprised that we haven't. Oh, I, <laughs> I was literally just saying that I was like, wow, I'm surprised we haven't found a shiny. <laughs> no, you didn't see me. You didn't see me. Yeah, crazy how that works, right? <laughs> but in all seriousness, you guys make Mac feel really special. Something that he really, really needs right now. And you know what else he needs? For you to subscribe. Look, I don't write the scripts. He is a mastermind. I am a mere pawn. Look, just, just do it. Please, please do it. He's Streaming was really fun. And I even made a VODs channel for anybody who wants extra content. But it was times like this that I felt so grateful for the inclusive community that I have. I mean, we even found a Zubat and everybody wanted to name it trans rights. Completely wrong color, but you know what? That That's that's Zubat's Zubat choice. And we rights. love that for them. That's cool. That's actually kind of a cool, like, I like the look of that. It's very aesthetic. All right, so Shinies, we found this so far. We found Pet Balloon and trans rights. What a, what a bunch of goobers. Like it's not it's not anything crazy. I just heard, I just heard a shiny. I just heard a shiny. Oh, it's Bidoof! 
It's the king! Hold on, hold on, we gotta save. <laughs> Hi. This is our first shiny bit of, of the playthrough. It's the god. He doesn't even know I'm here. He doesn't even know I'm here. <laughs> He's just living his best life. Jump scare? Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was great. That is content. Ooh, Abra. That's kind of cool. I'm down for that. No, but you didn't. You didn't. <gasps> Shiny right away. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me go ahead and save real quick. <laughs> no, don't disappear. What are you doing, you silly goofy goober? Everything else I don't care about. Wait, get down. Dude, you, you gotta love those shiny sparkles. Are you gonna pop up? I'm gonna catch you in a leading ball. Gosh, I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Now, I have an ancient suspicion that comes from the beginning of the shiny hunting community. Back in 2010 through 2013, when I first got into the shiny hunting community, the phrase I was just about to end for tonight would always find its way into videos. And for that reason, it has always stuck with me. That's and I know it may sound silly or completely coincidental, but it happened. All right, we're probably gonna do like, probably go for another 30 minutes or so. And uh, probably call it for today. I'm really hoping that, you know, every time, every time, this is such a thing, like, whenever we, like, plan on ending stream, the shiny pops up. So let's just hope, let's manifest a chat, that this is gonna be it for me. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> There's no, the, oh my, I don't know what to say. <laughs> what is this? What is this? I have never used Lopini and here I am. Yo, Arlie, what's up gamer? <laughs> I'm sorry, Arlie. You're coming in at a really weird time. Hi everyone. I just found, um. <clears throat> well, I just found something crazy. I, I just, I'm trying my best. Don't tell Perpicliff, that's so right. <laughs> well, we finally did it. Mac and I had finally found a shiny alpha that would help us unlock one of our team members and also allow us to travel to the next area. Now, luckily Mac listened to me just enough to get a thunder wave off. Good talk, and Mac. And then, good job, buddy. Well, he perished. But little did Lopini know, we had an ace up our sleeve and his name was Pep Bird. <laughs> it's so Jover. <laughs> I think Pet Bird's got this actually. Pet Bird has this. Pet Bird has this. Pet Bird? Pet Bird! <laughs> Pet Bird, you're a goat. You're actually the goat. This is it. This is it, chat. Yeah, oh it was uh That is so crazy. <laughs> it was it was pretty easy. <laughs> well, it was it was bound to happen sooner or later, but I I I think Mac has a crush. This is peak bridge performance. Maybe Riz even. <laughs> I need to go touch grass. I'm going to assume the big question. Does Mac and Cheese actually have Riz? Nope, he's a freak. But the big question is, what now? With buttons on our team, we can finally move on to the Crimson Mirelands, right? Well, that's what I'd like to say. Because you see, I haven't told you the whole truth about my nine shiny wormhole. Please, please respond. You see this guy, his name is Beauregard. And you see, Beauregard here is a cottonhead in any muggins. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. He's actually a pretty nice guy. Or is he? But needless to say, I will never forgive him. And for that, he will always be my mortal enemy. At the beginning of the video, I told you some rules. And one of the rules was, is that the villagers have to have shiny alpha Pokemon. But that's the thing. They don't all take shiny alpha Pokemon. And cottonhead in any muggins decided not to say anything useless so i basically spent an entire week hunting for a shiny alpha pokemon he won't even take and that pokemon is none other than wormple <sighs> it's so hard to be mad that's not an alpha <laughs> hi wormple 
Hello. How's it going? <laughs> okay. Brother. Hello? Can't see you. Oh, hi, Wurmple. <laughs> hey, buddy. How's it going? Oh, hi. I saw that, too. I, I totally saw that. <laughs> Freaking Wurmple. <laughs> oh my god! I this is like my this is like my twelfth Wurmple. Where? Huh. Well that's different. Anyways, you get the gist. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of the duplicates I found because, well, my name's not Blue Vactor. I'm not gonna show you 70 shiny shinks in, in one video. Oh, Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. It, it wasn't 70. It was more like 700. But still, go watch my friend's video. But this is the final big question. Did I find a shiny alpha wormhole? And the answer is no. But I did find this. No way! There's no way. There's no way. Oh, no. Look, I was only disappointed because I was still under the impression Hi, that I Wormble. could give him Alpha Wormble. Okay? <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> he's like, yeah, you I'm fine. give me this time. Wormple, I blame you. I blame you, Wormple. Walk away in shame. Yeah, uh-huh. Wormple, leave me alone. <laughs> this is your fault. What's happening in the game? What What is happening to the game? Oh, well, there's grass right here. Leave me alone, Wurple. I don't want to talk to you right now. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. <laughs> you know, that's like... I, it's cool. It's cool. All right. It's cool. Peppered! I think this is a male. It is a male. Pepper! No, Pepper! Good job, pet bird. <laughs> ba -dum, ba -dum. I kind of want like I kind of want uh, a sparkle shot. Let's get a let's get a sparkle shot real quick. Okay, all right, all right. I like that. I like that. That was good. Shiny Alpha Luxio. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's see, I don't even think I prefer. I don't know if this is level 10. This may be full odds. It's full odds. No way. <laughs> That's a big cat. All right. <laughs> you're not the shiny I was supposed to find today. Actually, you're not. You weren't supposed to be in this challenge. I know. You, sh you should be offended. Um, but it's true. Anyways, say hello to your Supreme Overlord. Your soul is his now. It's almost like the first video we ever did on this channel. He has some friends. <laughs> I think he's happy. Now, shortly after this, I were in the bad news. You see, Cotton-Headed Ninny Muggins here and uh, Pickle Lady won't take shiny alpha Pokemon or alpha Pokemon in general. So after all of that struggle, I ended up with an alpha that I probably wouldn't have found in the first place. So I guess it was like kind of a blessing in disguise. But that also means we had to say goodbye to some shinies. And I don't, I don't really care too much about you. I'm sorry. But cotton-headed ninny muggins, I swear to God, if my wormhole doesn't evolve into a beautifly, I will strangle you. Okay? All right. And with that, the village was starting to look a little bit shiny. Now we're forgetting one small, but major detail. We found two shiny alpha Pokemon. Now, if you remember the rules, for every shiny alpha we find, we get to bring back a member of my original team. And Arceus is, well, he didn't make it easy for this one. Now you only get one vote, but the top two Pokemon that are voted for will come back and help us in our adventure. So 
make sure you choose wisely. But for now, I'm Super Potion, and this is Mac and Cheese, and it sure is good to be home.